Welcome to my mother's channel. Sitting around doing some videos. Most of the time is happy. Bringing good vibes. Sitting around never sappy. Good vibes from the sky. Good vibes from the clouds. Good vibes from the rain. Children always feeling so happy. Bringing good vibes. Never sappy. She is so nice to me. Thinking about her family. She's awesome. I love my babies. It just makes my soul go from blue to yellow. Every single day, it makes me feel happy. Being around her, that's just what she does. She looks so pretty, so awesome, so nice. Bringing good vibes, good vibes to your soul. You and my soul feel so happy. Go watch your video. Go, go subscribe to her channel. Wait, I'm not ready to start recording yet. Good morning, a beautiful people. <laughs> a beautiful people. <laughs> anyway, good morning, y'all. Uh, spider just went in my car. It was really small, and I couldn't get it before it got in there. And I'm very, very pissed and scared now. I kind of just want to hunt it down, kind of, because... Y'all can't even see me properly. I kind of just want to hunt it down because that's not okay. Like, I'm going to freak the freak out. Let me see if I can find a spider, y'all. Good morning again, beautiful people. I changed it again because I was like, I wanted to be more comfortable. So I was like, that skirt earlier was... <laughs> the skirt earlier was a little too, like, yeah. You know, because it was like really, really open up top and stuff. But I'm about to run into this little Dollar Street right here. Um, but yeah, all right, come on. I got my appointment and I had to stop and get something to put in my belly, y'all. Get in my belly! Because, uh, and being broken, though, I was like, what can be a fast, effective meal that don't cost much? Some french fries. You know they raise the price of french fries, too. I'm like, people retarded. Like, they just raising everything. There's an ant. There's an ant in my motherfucking vehicle. Oh, not anymore. Because now you're dead. Now you're dead. I'm sorry I had to kill you. Oh, this first and this, and I never eat in my car. See, that just gave me just heebie-jeebies. Cause this is why I don't eat in my car. Cause I don't want anything in my car. And I saw an ant. Maybe it was on this bag, which would be really nasty. Cause this bag has the food in it. But um, yeah. How are y'all doing today? Mm. French fries. I freaking love French fries as a meal. Only with barbecue sauce though. Or chili cheese. Mmm. 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 But are y'all? I'm gonna see y'all later. What's going on, beautiful people? Ugh. I just got back from the doctor getting my um I got my STD testing and all that stuff, you know, the usual stuff that you get. Um yeah, so uh, that's what this, this is right here. Plus the anemic thing, my stream anemia. I remember last time I went and she couldn't do it because she couldn't find a thing. So I left because she ain't about to be poking my arm up, bruising my arm up. But yeah, so now I'm getting everything together so that, because I do want to start mingling again. So I haven't had sex in five months, y'all. So if I do meet somebody and I want to get down, I just, I can see their stuff. They see my stuff because my stuff, I'll have my proof of everything. And uh, one day, maybe I'll get down again. Maybe not. Who knows? <laughs> Wherever the wind blows me. But yeah, I just want to meet some really cool people for right now, though. I'm not really tripping off sex, but eventually one day I might have it again. So, you know, might as well make sure I'm A-OK -okay and everything. So, yeah. Anyway, get your checkups on time, folks. You already know that. But yeah, for people who don't, get your checkups on time and everything. Make sure you're still on top of your health. Um, the anemia thing I let slide way too much, but that was because Lady didn't know what freak she was doing. But I was, I was a little mortified by that and didn't want to go back. So, if it, so I finally got it done today. So he's going to call me and let me know the results or whatever. Hopefully my iron is level, iron levels are back up, and you know, he did the under microscope thing, so he didn't see anything weird or anything, but he still take blood and do the, the uh, swaps and everything, so I'm waiting on that to come back, but yeah, just better, it's just better to know what's going on with yourself, but anyway, much love, no, I don't have anything problems, I thought I had maybe yeast, but I didn't have that, but uh, much love, y'all, mwah. What's going on, beautiful people? What's going on? Okay, so, 
I went to check the mailbox a little while ago because I haven't checked it in a while. And that mailman was out there. He's like, thank you so much for coming closer so I can get a better look at you. <laughs> he's hilarious. He just makes some funniest comments. But I appreciate him. So I don't even see nothing. He just, he just be flirting. But um, he looks out for me with my packages. He, only him and this one lady. But he, he goes out his, above and beyond. If I have something heavy, he'll come in. Like, literally, he'll put it together for me. If he had a time to. He will come back. Like, he's, <laughs> but he's so freaking nice and good vibes. and just so sweet. So, you know, he never says anything over, overboard. He just, that's the furthest he, just, uh, you know, said that was. But, um, he just gives me good chuckles, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, I like, I like good energy. I, I really do. I really do. And I tell you, the lady that stuck me knew what she was going to get me on the first try. I was like, you are amazing. Because I was complaining about the lady that couldn't do it. And I could describe She's like, who would she look like? I said, because the old lady used to be here. The older, the senior lady used to be here. Um, I used to love her because I've been seeing her for years and years and years. And she used to ask me how the kids do and stuff. Like, she's seen my kids and everything. And she's just, she was so lovely, but she retired. Oh, you hate to see them go, right? Man. Crazy. It's like all the people, all the good people just be just. But my doctor today was good. So he was awesome. Um, he's not my actual doctor, but he had a resident with him. And at first I didn't want the resident in there looking at my cooch. But then I was like, after I talked to the resident, he was pressed to learn, right? Because he came in there to talk to me anyway. But even though he wasn't going to be in there, I said, you're not going to be here when he does the procedure. He's like, no, not if you're not comfortable or whatever. He talked to me about it. I was like, you know what? I'm comfortable. You seem normal. So I let him stay and whatever. Um, so they checked me out and everything. He showed him what he was looking at and what to do, you know, how to swab and stuff. And uh, they were really, really, they made me feel comfortable. Um, they were both Asian. One was like Chinese, Japanese or something. I don't know. Don't, don't get beat me up for that. And one was Indian from India. So, yeah. But um, anyway, uh, I guess I'm going to go ahead and let y'all niggas go. Um, I want to get this up today because I've been like dragging my feet. So I might talk a little bit more, but I definitely want to get this up there. I'm frying chicken today. Y'all know how I am with my fried chicken. I, I'm not the best at it. I just learned recently how to do it and I still be effing up. So hopefully it comes out good. And I forgot to stab it this time, so I'll have to cook it a little longer just to make sure, you know, no blood, no, anybody trying to get sick. But, uh, it's tomorrow I gotta take my son to an appointment because he's been complaining too much about not feeling, and he's, he doesn't want to go to the doctor, but I have to take him because, no, you shouldn't be feeling bad for this long. I just hate when I take them and they're like, virus, because there's nothing, they really just virus. And I'm like, I'm so sick of hearing the word virus, you know. That's another way of saying they don't know and it's gonna go away. <laughs> but it's like wasted time and stuff. But, um... Anyway, all right, baby booties. I'm about to do his hair in a minute because they don't even be trying to go outside, y'all. But he's not going outside looking like a fuzzy buzzy, fuzzy, fuzzy wuzzy ball. But, um, all right, y'all. Okay, let's sit down and chat for a minute for people who are nosy woozies. And I'm cooking, so I'm going to have to jump up to check the food in a minute. All right, so the guy I went out with, yeah, well, not went out with, that I met up with, he, was it yesterday? I have no concept of time. Like, my, my time perception is way off. But uh, I, that I met up with that was holding my camera. Um, I met him when I was out one day. He was at work. I'm not gonna say where. And uh, yeah, so he was trying to tend to me, even though it wasn't his business to be tended to me, because he saw me. He thought I was. He, said he saw me. He just <laughs> something drew him over to me. And then normally I ignore people, whatever, but I'm talking to him and I'm like looking at his face and he's just so beautiful. He's so beautiful. And I was like. It slipped out. I just said, you're so beautiful. While he was like, trying to just keep continuing the conversation. And he goes, so are you. He glances at my phone because he's at work. He can't really say anything or whatever. So he glances at my phone, but then he looks back up. So I took that as a, he wants me to. So I put my phone up and he starts saying his number. So I put it in my not, um, phone. And then I talked to him. Like, well, actually, he texted me immediately. Um, well, he told me to text him when... when uh, well, he got off at 3. I texted him. He said text him immediately, but I couldn't text him immediately. So I texted him when I got home, and then he texted me immediately, even though he's at work. So we, was texting back, we were texting back and forth. And then, let me check the food. Be right back, y'all. So I'm trying to, uh, it's going to be a little burnt looking, <laughs> but, um, so where was that? Where was that? Uh, the texting part, I think. So, um, anyway, so 
He's like, you, he, uh, I said, I want to get to know you, or whatever. Said, and I know we don't deal, but it was something I felt when he was looking at me, like, you would not break out of contact. <laughs> like, uh, it was just like a trance or something, anyway, that he was in, and then the mid got, got out and put me in an under trance. So, anyway, so I was like, he's, he's cute. You know, I, was, I wasn't thinking, he didn't look much, he looked younger than me, but not much. You know, um, I was thinking he was probably like 36, you know, so, um, 36, 38, something like that. So, uh, when, even though he had like a beautiful, like, he, uh, I don't know, he was just so beautiful. So, um, it, but he was a different type, but like, as far as like his build, he's tall, but he's, uh, he's brown skin, like, I like, he has hair, long dreads, and then he is bigger though. I showed my daughter a picture and she called him, um, the Charmin Bear, <laughs> but not like fat, he's just like a big dude or whatever. So, which is not, you know, I like skinny minis, I like skinny bone, bonies. Um, let me check this one more time. Let me, I'm sorry, y'all. Oh, goodness, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. The seasoning be getting all up in my nose, like, for real. But, um, so, um, where was I? Uh, I think I'm talking about his body build. So, yeah, he's not my simple type because he's a big dude, like a, a big dude, like a, like a strong dude. So, like strong <laughs> looking at least appearance where muscles there's muscle there's you know he's not chiseled chiseled but there's muscle def there's definite definition so and i know for sure because when we went to reach that day the first thing he did was take his shirt off as quickly as possible that's what men tend to do too when i talk to men they don't find a reason to take their shirt i'm like i see you <laughs> over there uh, uh, flex. <laughs> i'm so dumb uh, so <laughs> i'm such a dork <laughs> anyways <laughs> all right so with that being said he was I asked him how old he was while we were out, and he said he's 26, and I was like, you're a baby. Was it while we were out on the phone? I don't remember when I asked, but I said, you're an absolute baby. He said, I'm and I said, my oldest child is uh, 26. He goes, I'm not your child. He said, I'm not your child. I'm like, hold it there. You got a little defensive. So, but he is extremely mature, but that's because he's had a life, an involved life. I'm not going to tell all his business, but he's been through a lot. So, including some, uh, I asked him how his relationship was with his mother because I think that's important. Now, it's an important question I'm going to ask any of my potentials, and there's some issues there. So, um, and the trans that like the state he got in when I asked him because I asked him in person, it was very, it was very bad. So, I'm like, because if you don't love your mother, or you know, if you have issues with your mother, you probably have issues with me because you it means you probably have issues with women. I asked him, I said, Do you hate, secretly hate women? He stopped for a second, but he said, No, I don't hate women but and i'm not going to tell everything he said but so that was a red flag you know but talking to him was really good he said he can't talk to many people because they don't have brains and they're now no level he said he wants to start talking to older women because of whatever whatever, whatever. i said all older women aren't on the level you think they are and he said he knows or whatever and i said same with men like all older men aren't you know they're not they can be no hits too like you're mature more mature than a lot of older men i don't know or whatever and he was like yeah he was like i'm just really but anyway aside from all that um we talked and we were really honest. I was like, there are some negatives. He was telling me negative. Uh, not really telling me a negative, but there was a negative that he said he could see me saying that he could just be a friend. And I said, I don't think it will work because his for one, his living situation. Remember, my only request is I just want to go lounge at someone's place and kick my feet off, whatever. So he has roommates. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, two, I believe. So that won't work i don't want to be around a whole bunch of other people and then um he has a young child and it's another one you know so i see him being a really good friend he's really fun well i'm not gonna say he's fun he's really mature because i'm more fun and he was just like i had him even crack up a couple times and he seems like so stern so like you know mm, mr straight and narrow whatever and i told him he, oh yeah i also said when he said the thing about women being i said i'm a mess I said, older women, they may, uh, but I am a mess, a complete mess or whatever. He said, but do you have your priority street? I was like, yeah, of course I have my priority street. He said, well, you, that's what I'll ask. And I was like, okay, that makes sense. But at the same time, it's like, you can't expect every woman to be like me. You know, or you can't expect every grown person to be mature. Because that's just not the case, you know. And I'm always going to have my silly, childish, goofy side. But again, like I said, when we finished the conversation and we ended our time together, it was like, um, there was more. It was a lot. It was involved. We were on each other for some hours. But um i said 
that I didn't want to speak anymore because I said, not because he did anything wrong. I said, because your situation is not something that I'm looking for a certain thing. And he's like, yeah, he is understood. He was very mature about being late on. I was like, no, you know, I called him. I said, no, I still want to be friends or cool or whatever. He's like, that's great. So I really want you to, you know, I really like that and to keep me in contact and stuff like that. So, um, but I do not see. He made reference and stuff because we talked about our past and stuff. I talked about my last situation. We talk, he talked about his last race and stuff like that. And he was like, well, I would love to be a, somebody who can do that for you. <laughs> I was like, hey, hey, we're not there. But, uh, like I said, he was beautiful. Like, um, mesmerizingly beautiful. Like, when I was awake, I thought it was, like, beauty, you know. And uh, he was the same with me. And it, it just, it was really nice chemistry, you know, because we felt... But at the end of the day, when I hung out with him, it was some things I did not, wasn't quite feeling. I'm not going to get into, into that here. And then, um, like, again, he's so young, and I really just don't. And it's not about age, so I'm going I'm to keep that, I'm going I'm to keep that to the side. It's just, I don't feel like, because of, I just don't feel like that's somebody that's going to be, like, just like he said, he said he doesn't feel like, I would ever want to like date him, date him or take him seriously, and it's not that I don't take him seriously. That's not what I, what I, but it's just that um, I don't think we're the right fit. If you know what I'm saying, I think that we're really cool together, and we could vibe, and we can be friends forever. But as far as us being like relationship buddy, nah, not beyond a friendship. And that's what he's saying. What I mean by friends, dude. Well, I say you're my friend, that's what you are. And he was kind of taken aback by that. He was like, well, that's not. What I said, but I'm telling you now. If I call you my friend. That is what you are. So it was nice. And I like the interaction. I have not contacted him today. He's like, oh, we can contact me anytime. That he always answers immediately when I call him. But I just want to, like, I don't know. I'm still going to communicate. But I just don't see that as being. But I would love to continue. You are. And again, I don't know everything, you know, so I could be wrong. But I do know that I think he's awesome. He's pretty freaking dope. Like, that, I struck luck with, and he thinks I'm pretty cool too. So um, he's a dope dude. And, uh, but the other motherfucker, the 32 year old, mm -mm, I haven't contacted that motherfucker since. That motherfucker, I, I didn't even tell y'all about that. That motherfucker, that motherfucker, I show pictures, like, whenever I meet somebody, we show pictures, pictures to my, um, kids, right? And my kids have different jobs for different places. And, but, um, and she's, like, roast out laughing, because she, I'm not gonna say the nickname that she has for him. <laughs> anyway, but, um, Small world, right? But yeah, I always show my kids when I meet somebody, my sons and my daughters, depending on what the situation is. I'm like, you know this person? Blah, blah, blah. You know, even if it's an older person, you never know who knows who. But uh, anyway, that limp ball just... <laughs> anyway, all right, y'all. Let me check this food and try to get this video up to y'all. Let me see if I got something else to talk about. But yeah, that's pretty much what's it. It's not... I haven't met my Prince Charming yet. <laughs> if anyone was wondering, I am just, just starting. Like, I've only met two people and the world is vast like it's a huge world so i'm just open right now so hopefully i don't know i don't know and like i said i got my little stuff done today so my results will be back by friday but i'm not rushing nothing because i'm going to take my time with everything you know so um yeah if i meet somebody awesome and dope and super and they also fit everything that i think is okay enough for me to jump out there with froggy gonna motherfucking jump but anyway all right <laughs> i'm beautiful people much ready for love Mm. anyway so um remember i told you about accountability like we always talk about account accountability and uh, focusing your anger and stuff like that um <clears throat> excuse me so i called um uh, situationship and i had to apologize for my part of the bad parts that i played because of discrimination and racism um there was something that I, that i experienced that ended up affecting him and i thought that was just so super de duper wrong i feel like if you're wrong just apologize and i just apologize for my part he didn't apologize for his but I did only because I know how I would have felt had the tables been turned. Had he said the things that I said to him, it would have been all war. Like, all fake hell would have broke loose, you know. So, uh, it's just so tragic because I hate when people get in the way and people just be mad. And then I also have people whisper in my ear about other stuff, which I'm not going to confirm or deny. Because I don't know if that's true or not. But... I will take accountability for my part. Like we're not, like I'm not gonna, like we're never speaking, like we're never speaking on those terms again. But at the same time, I gotta be honest. Like if I'm wrong, I'ma say I'm wrong. You know, that's just the the adult thing to do, and the mature and responsible and the right, the right, and everything, the right thing to do. But anyway, all right, y'all.
abort there's a huge maturity dis difference like a huge one so no it's a no for me good night folks <laughs> okay some people may think i'm picky but yeah of course a little bit but um i also know what i deserve and i know what's right for me and what fits so i will not settle for what doesn't fit for me personally and it's not about financial whatever whatever it's about the mental capacity is about um who you are as a person so and physical too but uh yeah none of us are perfect but we gotta like be able to identify the things that we can't mesh with or can't like that don't uh that we can't get along with you know so yeah i don't know what else to say but yeah all right y'all if i do my son's hair now baby in here my room is a hot mess and i brought him in here he's just been chilling but um in my room here is a hot mess a hot mess hot don't trot my bed is not made my computer is atrocious but yeah gonna fix it soon i think <laughs> but yeah i'm just working it out you know i'm just trying to be with the best me i can be i'm trying to create my art and just be happy like at the end of the day like i'm not pressed for nothing else my kids myself and my art those are my main priorities and people who love me most other than that then kick rocks and Maybe you'll get in where you fit in. Maybe you won't ever get in or fit in, but it's what it is. But all right. I wonder if I'll get this up tonight. I was trying to, but let's see. Yes, definitely the person, the uh, 20, what, I mean, whatever, friends only. I just said that. Made it clear. Because, no, too young, the mindset isn't there yet. And uh, But, yeah, really fun. Good night, folks. That's the response back. Let's see what this is. Bye, Beautiful people, how are you? Uh, today started off right, y'all. I had some coffee this morning for the first time in a long time. I haven't been getting it lately, and I bumped into all my old coffee buddies. <laughs> you know how you hit, hit the same Wawa every time you get to know everybody there. But yeah, that was nice. Um, so it was like a long time no see. I ain't seen you. I'm like, I've been hiding. I haven't been having coffee for a while or whatever. So um, yeah, but uh, I'm when I got out the out the car and I was walking around, this guy turned around and he's in his truck. He rolled his windows down. He was parked beside me and he talked to me for a bit and he was actually super de duper attractive and he was closer to age i don't know how old he is but he's definitely in my age range um so i didn't give him my number so <laughs> you know he asked for it i gave it to him he has to take me out and i'll go because i'm really trying to meet people meet somebody nice now um so because he's so super de duper attractive to me yeah and he was like oh you're like yeah, we we look we look nice together i'll say he's tall brown skin well i think he's tall he was sitting down he looked like he was tall he has muscles not too much though he's like skinny skinny muscular if that makes sense um from what i could see from him sitting but uh because i was like literally right beside him so if you hit the open the door would hit me but um yeah so we'll see if that goes anywhere you know i'm gonna keep you all posted on everything the young buck i'm still speaking to the young buck um he's a cool guy he's a really cool guy he told me this morning he was like delete he was like block and delete your um um ex situation he said because all he's doing is stressing you out he did he said a quote that was so effing cute too and i don't remember what that quote was but i was like i love that he's like i knew you would <laughs> but uh yeah he's right i need to take out the garbage delete the trash and that's what i did he's a good guy this young one he's a good guy he's i think he'd be like i said the best friend ever but uh well, maybe not ever, but you know what I mean? I think he'd make a good friend. But, uh, yeah. <sighs> it's gonna be a muggy day, I can tell already. But it's super early now. It feels good right now. Oh my gosh, it feels good. But I'll be back in a sec, y'all. Beautiful bird. It's probably gonna hurry up and get disappear when I come down there. It's so gorgeous, isn't it? Just sitting there minding his business. He's gonna disappear, watch. He's already stepping away. I'm getting too close. He's like, I gotta go. Look, oh, he's so prehistoric. Oh, what is that flying? Oh, it's huge. That bird is, that bird was enormous. It looked like a prehistoric uh, dinosaur. Oh my gosh, y'all. Uh, it said rock, rock. It sounded scary. It sounded so scary. <laughs> How beautiful it is today, y'all. Oh my gosh, it is, oh, I love the wind. I love the water. It's just, oh, 
I'm feeling super de duper fantastic. I'm so effing thankful. Anyway, love you guys, and I hope you guys are having a fantastic day as well. I'm gonna try to get this up to y'all today, I promise. Alright. Good morning, beautiful people. Just trying to set up real quick. I'm not gonna lie, it's cute. It's
quenching because it's not that it's sunny but it's bright you know what i'm saying like the sun is behind the clouds but it's like super bright clouds like so the sun may as well be out oh well, i'll be burning up if the sun was out though because with this weather it's kind of like um it's like muggy but because the sun isn't out it's not unbearable Hey y'all, look at me. Tell me I don't look like I'm about to grant you some wishes. Watch this. What was that? That was dumb. <laughs> Abort what I just said, but don't I look like I'm about to grant you some wishes? I don't know what that's for, but all right, y'all. Look at this nasty thing doodling on. She got this nasty, dirty thing doodling on my freaking floor. That is disgusting. Stop. That is. It was disgusting. Is that you act like the paper towel? You gonna clean this rug? Oh you? no, really? Like I know that. <laughs> She need a beating. That is, look, why he got that? This, you just nasty. My shit, you let him do it on my floor. Make sure you clean this freaking rug. I know that. That is disgusting. I'm upset. Look, even she running. She like he disgusting. I want to see him. Nah, -uh, don't get me all happy that you relieved yourself on my floor. Get out. Out, chubs. What's going on, beautiful people? I was about to take my shoes off and get comfy when I realized I have a story to share with y'all. I got to tell y'all what just happened. All right, so I was unstrapping my shoes and everything, y'all. So I went out to meet this guy that I had met, right? Um, we've been talking on the phone, and he seemed so... Oh, why do I have two lights on? What the F? Can you get my room light off if you're close to a bed? Um, he seemed cool. Um, he seemed really cool. We had really good vibes over the phone and we were laughing and having a good time over the phone, right? So, um, I was like, well, let's meet up. I'm not going to tell y'all all the details right now. I'll just skim over it because it's late and I'm trying to get this video up to y'all today. So anyway, everything was cool. Everything was good, whatever. He, um, he was at work when I met him though. So later, when I met up with him, he was, he went, you know, he had totally different clothes or whatever. He has a nice home from what he says. And he said, I believe him because of the way he is. And then he, said he has really nice cars and stuff like that, right? And he dresses extremely well. If you look at him, he looks like, he takes as much pride as I do in myself, but he has the money to call me, if that makes any sense. So, it was just a good look, you know. So, anyway, I was like, oh, he's really cool, whatever. He matches my, I'm going to say match my flat. Oh, cringy, corny, but you know. So, um, he was 40 years old, you know. You know, just stuff like that. He had one child. child was 19, I believe. Um, so, yeah. So, anyway. So, I go to meet him. And I'm like, well, where are you? Because there were some discrepancies with the location. Because we, we were in the parking lot at the place. And I was like, well, where are you? in Because I'm like, on this side of the parking lot, whatever. He said, well, come to the left side by the semi-trucks or whatever. So, I'm like, okay, so I go to the left side, and it's cars everywhere. I was like, what color is your car? He's like, white. So, I'm like, I don't see you. Then I see a car over beside another car, and the doors are all open, and they look like they're communicating. So, I'm like, are you in a white car? Because I'm like, I'm not going to come up to this car that's communicating with another car in the cut. You know, I said, I don't want to walk up to the wrong car. He says, and so he didn't respond. So, I'm like, I'm about to go, because you're not responding. Again, I'm not about to walk my little pretty tail up to that car with them, with all them people. And, I, and I'm supposed to be meeting one, and you're supposed to be alone. So, um, I'm like, uh, so I, I get, um, I start to leave. And then he calls me, he's like, 
what what's happening? What what Because he was on the phone aggressively talking to somebody. I could see him across, so I knew it was him, kind of, but I wasn't really sure. I, again, I've seen him once in person, so I'm like, it could be him. You know, look, this fish is good, little fly. You know, nice cars and stuff like that. So he's like, uh, he calls me. He's like, what what's going on? Blah blah blah. You, you leave? Blah, blah. I said, yeah. I said I left because you weren't responding. He said it's only one left side of this parking lot he said i told you about it to my trust. i told you it's a white car and a whatever color car that i'm blah blah blah, blah. i said no you said the white car and he goes I, he said he said he said uh what he say anyway he was just being very nasty and aggressive towards me the way he was talking to me gave me flashbacks of men that were disrespectful to me in my life when i was growing up and i i can't do it but um yeah give me um but yeah so i went home basically and blocked him but are you all right, I'm back. Um, yeah, so, um, y'all, what I do know, I've been through a lot. I told y'all that. This dude had, like, you know how, I say red, how they say red flags? He had, like, a red banner. Like, he had banner up with flags attached to his ass. Like, dude had issues. He had anger issues. He told me he, was, his, he wasn't speaking to his family or his mom at the moment. I'm like, because you're crazy. Now I can see it's probably <laughs> crazy. He has, he has quick temper and he is arrogant. I cannot say an arrogant dude. He thinks he's the crap. After, like, it just made, when I was watching his demeanor and the way he was speaking, I'm like, oh, I know who you are. I know you. I know, I've seen you a billion times before and you're, like, repellent to me. Please stay away. So, he was like, oh, yeah, before we hung up, he was like, yeah, I guess I'll have to talk to you another time. No, you won't. I was like, uh-huh. And hung up because I'm not going to argue with you. No, you won't because you're blocked. You will not talk to me anytime. I do not like angry men, Sam I am. I do not like them. <laughs> Let me say it again. Like, I don't... No. You're aggressive for no... Like, you have anger issues. And I can see where that could go, but it ain't going to go in this direction. You know, you better do that. take that somewhere else. Oh, y'all. That was just crazy biz, man. Crazy, crazy. And I know he would try to hit me up again and be like, Oh, I'm sorry. My fault about the other day. Mm-mm. You're not going to get the opportunity to hit me up talking about my phone about, you know what? It's all right. It's all right. I forget you. Don't forget you. Stay over there. Mm. Anyway, let me get this video to y'all. So I'm going to get a little more detail because I was just telling my daughters, you know, about what happened. And I was like, I didn't, I was kind of brushing past or whatever. But there was a major point where I was like, okay, so I felt really sketchy about the whole situation. Oh, excuse me. We're meeting a dude. He... Okay, so when he pulled up, let me explain. By this, he was by some semi trucks. It was his car, his front door, his driver's side, and and the back uh, door was open. He was by a car, which the window was down, and he was obviously communicating with. He was yelling on the phone. Um, it's just giving traffic and vibes. Like I'm just sorry. And when I was telling him where I was or whatever, I was like, "You don't see my car. You don't see my car." I pulled right in front of him in the lane where nothing was at. Right, because he was in the cut, like hidden. Um, he acted like, and he saw my car early. He knew it was my car. No way you can tell me that he didn't know that was my car. He ignored my call. Well, I see, and then he gets back out, he's yelling on the phone with somebody or whatever. And I see him look at his phone and I see I'm about to go. He had two phones. So he's on one phone and he looked at the second one. So I guess I was on that second phone. The burner. Anyway, so... Uh, Anyway, so I leave and he calls me furious. I guess I, I like made him lose out on some money or something. I don't know. But it was just weird to me giving really Dahmer vibes or really trafficking vibes. Really just bad vibes. And I'm just so glad that I'm smart enough to be able to peep certain things. But it's super sad at the same time. It's super sad. Like, flat matching flat don't matter these days. Let me stop. But I know I make a joke out of everything. But yeah, it's just really bad. Anyway, y'all have a great night. Let me get it's 9.50. I might not get this up tonight, y'all. Eek. But yeah. Dang. <laughs> Bye, y'all.